All right, so I recently built 24 funnel templates in 24 hours. And the question that I got from a lot of people was, how did you get so much done in such a short period of time? So in this video, I'm gonna show you inside of high level, I'm gonna show you inside of Figma, the editor, everything, so you can see start to finish how to build funnels and websites for your business. So let's dive in. Now I'm inside of high level and I created this little, actually, let me just create a new one to show you. I'm just gonna call this template funnel. Create funnel. And then I'm gonna add the step and we're just call it, gonna call that home. And then inside of this, we can use this page that I built, which has all these pre-made sections. Now I spent 12 hours building these. And so this is the first hack, if you will, that when you're building a funnel, first you do the planning. And once you do the planning really well, the building actually becomes way faster. So for me, this is usually collecting the color palette, the branding, the images, the assets the testimonials, and then the copy so that when I start building, I kind of at least have a draft, a rough draft of what I want to build and a good understanding of how I want it to look. So you can look at other sites like Pinterest or Dribbble or Awards, Landing Folio, these types of pages to get inspiration. And then when you go inside of High Level or any other platform that you might be using, you can actually build the pages way faster than if you're starting from blank. So I'm actually going to start from blank just to give you an idea of how to build a funnel, start to finish, how the editor works and everything. But if I were to use this, I would just go into here, type in ultimate, plug and play template, and then homepage. This is the one that you can import. After you watch this video, uh, you'll find a link to import this. And then you can use it for all your funnels because you can just import, boom, and then you delete the section you don't want to use anymore. So that is pretty sweet. But we're going to start from, from blank to show you the editor and how it works and how I built this. And also inside of Figma, how to import your designs into here. So I'm just going to click full width. We're going to do a two column row. And then I'm going to add my logo, obviously. So if I need a logo, I can go to logo Ipsum for example, for a template. Obviously, if you have a business, you have a logo. It's not that important, but for an example here in the templates that we built, I just took logo Ipsum, changed the text to perfect logo. You group them together. So command G or just right click and group. Now it says ungroup because they're already grouped. Export 1X, 2X, depending on the size and the pixels of the image, export, and then upload it into high level. So I'm gonna go to the image, see if we have any logos in here. And there we go. So I probably want it more like 200 pixels and then I want it uh, left aligned. Now for the element here, usually what I do is I just do a support. So I'll just do support custom I might want to add an email icon. So the way I do that is just icon search email and then let's say I want to use this one. Icon color, by the way, I learned high level in what? Two, three days. And then when I built 24 templates in 24 hours, trust me, I learned high level in 24 hours, like mastered it. So desktop font size, this probably do, let's do 18, actually 16 because the support email and then we'll do 14. If I don't want to have it visible on mobile, because that kind of looks bad, look at that. I can just go here and untoggle or uncheck the mobile so it's only visible on desktop. Once you understand high level, it's actually better than ClickFunnels. Yes, they're working on a, a new update to the editor, but already I'm like getting used to the editor in just a few days. So anyways, um, two columns. Let's do headline here and then the main image here. I also don't like the font, so I'm going to change that. But first, you can see how this aligns in the center, which you know sometimes is helpful. Sometimes you're like, I actually prefer it to be up here. But what it does is if I add subheadline and then I, I make this a lorem ipsum text, the more I add in here, so if I add the button, uh, you can see that it sort of starts filling out. I can actually grab a lorem ipsum if I have here inside of Figma, just to Fill that up. Now you can see we don't have any padding between these sections or elements, sorry. So what I'll do, I'll start with the headline and I'll just go down here into padding. So I'll do left and right. Mm, we don't need padding on, on the individual uh, elements. We can actually do that inside of the column. So I can go here and I can add padding 15, 15, right? So we give some spacing there or padding. 
But then here I can do margin top 20 and bottom 20 if I want as well. I can also just do top and then do top on this one. So now I don't need 20 pixels enough. Um, this is way too big. So you can see as I'm building it out, I'm just using the settings that I would normally do. So you can see my exact process. So these two should actually be like desktop first, mobile. I told the dev team this, so working on changing that. Uh, but I will do mobile for this 16 and then I'll do 18 on desktop. And then I will also do, let me just add the, the padding here instead, of, uh, sorry, the margin. So 20, let's do 30. Now, if I want a radius to this, I believe I can add a border. So there's no radius, corner radius, just like that. Again, I told the dev team. So what I can do, just let me set this to one pixel. And then instead of having a color, I just remove the color. And now I'm able to set a border radius, even if it's not there, right? Which is a little hack that I figured out as I wanted to find a way. So like a lot of things inside of high level, you can actually find them. You just gotta know how to, how to navigate the editor. So let's left align this one as well. So I'll just go down, left align this. One thing I found as well, I, I could add a, a radius by going down here and then picking the one with the radius and then just deleting the color of the, the border, right? But it's the same thing. So anyways, what I'll do for the color is I'll just use this one right here. But one of the things when you have your branding, you can just add them one. So add the custom one. You can add your, your custom color. Let's say I have a something like this. I can just add the color and then I have it here. So now if I want to change the headline, for example, and I go color, I'll just find it here, right? Bold, I'll find it here. And so anything I press that I'm like, okay, I want to change the background color for this entire section. Boom, I can just find it here. So it's very easy once you find it, you just got to set those colors up in the beginning. So I'm going to keep it like this for now. Obviously, I don't want to have this one. I don't want to change this one, right? So I want to add a new one. So I'll do something like this. And then I'll do the same for bold. So the font, what I like about the editor is that we have so many font options. And instead of changing these individually, I'll just go up to settings, typography, and I'll go and choose from this never ending list of fonts. So I'll do, I could do Barlow. Barlow is mm, probably would look better all capital. You know, I already like the plus Jakarta. So we'll do that one. And then content, same thing. So now you can already find it there. Text color, I'm not going to change because I might have darker and lighter sections. So I think that's it for now. One thing I could do is if I want to Actually, let's separate these like so we can see the difference. I'll make this dark so we can see what we built so far, right? So we have this section and you can see here the spacing is less than above here. So I want to add more spacing. What I'll do is I'll go down to padding again and I'll probably do if I do 50 here, sometimes I might do you know, in another section and obviously obviously not above the fold here. I don't want to have too much spacing because on mobile, if we do 30, you can see on mobile, we're wasting all this space up here. We want to have as much as possible above the fold because that way we can increase conversions. So on desktop, this might look good, but it's too much. So I might do 10 or sometimes in another section, I kind of have these like 10, 30, 50, 70, or I'll do, if I need more spacing, I'll, let's say I need 80. So I want to have more spacing. I'll do 20 here. It's just kind of like this. It gives the same structure throughout the page when every single section have, you know, 40, 60 or uh, 20, 40 or 40, 40. And it's, it's just congruency. So let's start filling these out. So desktop will do 52 maybe. And then mobile will do 28 and see what that looks like. Because now once we've set these up once, actually you can see the line height here. We probably want to do more like 1.7 or 1.5 at least 1.5. Once you've set them up here, actually let's set the mobile here to 16. Once you've done these once, you can just duplicate the settings, sorry, the section, and you'll have these settings in there. This is also something I didn't understand at first, but you have something called inside of 
the column you have column uh, layout so i have vertical right now and now it's set to horizontal obviously you don't want to have horizontal set because that wouldn't look great right but there's actually a use case for this so let's say the image is if we have a, a huge image i can upload one in a second and show you there are times where let's say we delete this and we want this to be to the top right i can click the column and i can go down here and i can i believe it was vertical and we do left boom there we go and if i do right it'll be the opposite so center for now so we get that aligned i don't know if they've already uh, always had that in there i did mention it and a few days later i saw it in there so i'm the annoying person who's like hey can we change this inside of figma when you're designing something like let's say you're designing this or you have something like this let's say we want to upload this again if you have graphics behind this for an example let's let's move this I'm just gonna hold that down grab it in here make it 600 at least click r so we get this rectangle just move it under here and then we'll do 10 pixels on that as well and we'll do let's say we want to have a little bit of background to it so we'll do 10 percent there now i'll group it together and i'll just export this so test template you want to compress the image so that you increase the load speed so that the files aren't bigger than let's say 100 kilobytes uh, i'll just upload this i also mentioned that we should be able to drag these uh, images in here and drop them so that's is coming soon as well and now we have this in there headline will say get 300 percent more real estate deals with real estate funnels. <laughs> Everything is about funnels. So now I have one section, right? I might want to add maybe a testimonial down here. I can do that by adding, let's say a an image feature. Same thing here. I want to add 10 pixels above and below. Now this keeps centered, so that's pretty good. If I want to, I'll just see what this looks like with 46, 42 with funnels and then we have something like this so i usually want to have the same sort of height to both sections so there's not a lot of empty space there and this is also too much you don't have to have a testimonial this long on the first section but anyways let's say we want to have something like this i can now duplicate this and let's say i want to do something like a darker background color I can just go in and change these all. And so once I open this color, boom, bold color, now they'll stay open, I believe. So I can just go like this. Boom. And then I will change the logo as well. But now, because as I showed you in, in this section right here, because I've created the backgrounds already, you would do that in Figma and you would upload them in here i can just go and pick them out as i build this out so for darker i would just use this oh i changed the wrong one sorry here let's delete this and then you want to make sure that you have this set to full center so you can center and also make it full width and then for a lighter background maybe i want to use something like this one i created here for the templates and also make this full center. Because once you've done this now, like I said, if I wanna do something else, like I wanna talk about our features, our benefits, or any of that sort of thing, I have the right font, so now it's already mobile optimized. You might still have to optimize some images. Let's say you have logos about who you've worked with or featured in. Let's say you have images like these, four images, on mobile, this might be too narrow. Like if you were trying to fit this into the, the mobile section, they'll be super tiny. So then you might want to do two images like this together and then these two below here. And then you can create one image and upload that in mobile only. So that's mobile optimization. Anyways, the text though should be around where we have them right now. So that's good. And then let's just make sure, check. Actually, this right here, we want to just show you. 
you can use this testimonial set it to 75 maybe and then we'll put yeah this is good should be around 16 maybe 18 so we'll do 16 and 14 yeah and then we'll come back here and change the actually let's do left align best results ever something just relatable uh, related to the promise and then these people I worked with gave me the best results ever with their funnels, blah, blah. Anyways, one thing I really love about the editor as well is you want to think of the funnel building process as like Lego pieces and building blocks. So you have sections, this green outline here is a section. Inside of that, I can add rows, right? So I can add one column, two column, three column, four, and I can just drag them in here, right? But one thing I really love about the editor is that I can delete the columns to make a two column into a one column. So for example, on this one, I might not want to have a two column. So I just go into the, com you can see second column there, this image column. I just delete that and I have one column and I can, as long as I click this column, I can just come in here and change these to be, let's say, centered. And then if I, I'm like, I actually think this one is too long. I want to make this one two lines have a line break there Can first of all make sure that line break maybe 1.2 and then i will do i can add padding on the sides yes for sure but instead i'll go into the seg two column row so the row instead of the column again building blocks and i'll just go down here to width and change that instead because when when i change that it's not going to add padding to the mobile section so let's say i want to have something like this I can go in and see what that looks like and it looks great on mobile as well now final trick that i'll show you and then not to make this video too long i can change settings let's say i want to have shadows in these four boxes here i want to have something so instead of going here and i'll drag this down to here i'll change it to benefit one okay i'll set the settings once so desktop i'll do maybe 26 mobile i'll do 20. and then yes let's keep it in the middle we also want to have some lorem ipsum there to explain the benefits maybe have an image or icon or that sort of thing now once you've created that oh yeah let's say we want to have some just put a uh, five percent drop on that and let's say i want to have this on all four in figma you can change the settings let's say you have this image or color layer here, I can copy it once I've marked the actual color, I can command C, copy it over to another image and then paste it. Mask group, let's go into the image, boom. I can copy it over to an image. In here, in high level, you can actually just copy the column. So look, I copied that over, I delete this one. I copy it over and I delete. And by the way, I can also do this inside of this right here copy it and it'll do the same. So if you have a before and after, you just set one up, you copy it over to the next one. So without making this any longer, I'll just give you this page instead. So in the description, make sure you go and import this. Uh, High Level also were kind enough to give us 30 days to try it for free. Me and Pedro also are building funnels.so, which is built on High Level. We just have all of our funnels preloaded. We can choose our own pricing and that sort of thing and add our own trainings and coaching and support when you sign up with us. But either way, I would highly recommend that you try it out. You download this and then you play around with it. See if you like it. If not, you can cancel. If you like it, you can grow your business and just let the tech be there all in one in a solution in a software that is working right now. With that said, I'll see you in the next one.